come to another session for Meta Academy. Welcome back, guys. Thank you very much for all the support you've been showing us. Thank you, guys. We appreciate it and we would like you to continue with us as we are continuing with this session. Uh, this is lecture series number 12, which is um, um, uh, subsection 7.1 from Gauteng Prelim 2016 paper one, okay? So let us read the problem statement. It says, Johan um, purchased a new car. The bank offered him a loan of a, oh, at an effective interest rate of 16.4. So I effective is 16.4%, okay? Um, and then it says, uh, per annum, okay, per annum. And then it says, determine the nominal rate compounded monthly that he is required to pay, okay? So we need to find I norm, okay? So we need to find I norm, which is the unknown. And then what what is what we are told is that it is compounded monthly, okay? So it's compounded monthly, meaning that on our equation, oh, this is the equation that we have to use actually. It's one plus I effective is equals to one plus I normal all over n and everything to the exponent n okay so this is the equation that we are going to use to find our binomial okay so what i usually do when i get such problems okay i just have to make binomial the subject of the formula that's what i usually do such that i don't lose um, a track of what i'm doing okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take the nth root on both sides so the nth root of one plus i effective okay which is equals to one plus i nominal all over n okay so i can multiply by n throughout which is going to be n times the nth root of one plus i effective uh and then this is going to be equals to n plus i nominal okay so you can see that i nominal is just given by n times the nth root of one plus i effective minus n okay so this n just represents the monthly uh, uh, compound thing okay so what happens is that now we're just going to find our i normal by substituting into this equation okay so therefore our i normal is given by our n is 12 times the 12th root okay of 1 plus i effective is 16.4 percent okay this 16.4 percent guys it's it's not going to be divided by 12 because if you can check the equation we do not divide our i effective by n so we're just going to have the 12th root of 1 plus 16.4 percent okay minus our n is just 12 okay so i'm going to just take this uh, substitute it in the equation and then I mean in the calculator and then see what's what's gonna give okay so we got the 12th root of 1 plus 16.4 percent minus 12 okay so the answer that I get for this is 0 0.1528 uh, 27 so it's just dead and then I multiply this by 100 so our I nominal is given by 15.28 percent okay so let's try and see that so i'm just going to say this answer times 100 so it's going to give us 15.2827 but yeah we're just going to leave it here okay so this is was subsection one subsection one we just needed to um uh, uh, find the effect uh, the inomia the inom the nominal interest okay so the second question says that a farmer sets up a sinking fund okay now we know when we're given something of sinking funds the future value annuity is something that comes into mind okay and i want you also to have that in mind so 7.2 is talking about sinking funds okay so when you're talking about sinking funds funds okay we are talking about using the equation of future value annuity which is given by x 1 plus i to the exponent n minus 1 all over i okay so immediately when you're talking about sinking funds this should come into mind okay so let me let me go back and 
actually read out the question. The question says that, oh, the statement, before the question, the statement, a farmer sets up a sinking fund, he plans to accumulate 2.3 million, okay, in a fund at the end of eight years, okay, uh, by making equal quarterly payments into the fund, okay, and then it also says that um, the interest rate on the money accumulated is 12% compounded quarterly, okay, calculate the quarterly payments into the fund if the payment is made in three months, okay, so uh, sorry about this light guys okay it's just uh, the lighting in the room it's it's yeah it's just bad so what, what is happening is that um okay let us try and understand we're given the future value which is 2.3 million okay 2.3 million and then they say that um at the end of eight years so our n is given by eight years but now in this eight years this thing is going to be compounded quarterly meaning that our n is going to be given by eight times four which is 32 okay so eight times four is 32 okay and then what what do we need to know also they say that our interest rate is our interest rate is 12 percent per annum compounded quarterly meaning that our interest rate now is going to be 12 percent divided by four so wherever we see i we are going to substitute this okay so just taking this information that we wrote here and substituting here but as i as as, as i did with the previous question i always like to make the unknown the subject of the formula okay so i'm going to have that and say um, our x is given by i multiplied by the future value uh, divided by 1 plus i to the exponent n minus 1. I just multiply this by that and divide it by this just to get x, okay? So, it means that now, for substituting purposes, I'm going to have this, which is 12 point, or oh, it's 12%, okay? So, it's 12% uh, divided by 4, okay? So, it's just 12% divided by 4. This has to multiply 2.3 million, okay? 2.3 million so i'll just put it the way it should be written and then underneath here i've got one plus 12 percent divided by four to the exponent 32 and then i'm going to have plus one okay so let us find the solution to this and then we end the session okay so let us see so i'm going to have so i'm going to have um 12 percent okay 12 percent divided by 4 multiplied by 2.3 million into 3 all over 1 plus 12 percent divided by 4 to the exponent 32 and then i'm going to subtract 1 okay so the amount that you're going to have there is going to be 30 oh, 40 43,000 43,807 comma two cents so this is the amount that um <clears throat> that is going to be uh, uh, invested each and every every three months okay so this is the amount that is going to be added into the sinking fund such that they should have um an accumulated or the future value as 2.3 million rands okay uh oh it's forty three thousand. okay uh, guys, I'll see you on the next video. Thank you. Take care. Thank you.